Torture Talk. Ah, you know what it is. It's a uh, classic review time. So today I'm going to review the Wu Tang Forever album. Came out back in 1997. If you guys never heard it, you should go listen to it. It's an album that is a transcending album, timeless album, something that I think a lot of people will like and remember. So Wu-Tang Clan is a group out of uh, Staten Island. Um, they came into the game with the with with the a different type of uh, way of doing hip hop, and I think no one actually can duplicate what they ever did um they they came in using martial arts and kung fu movies knowing that that was a genius idea because that really sparked a lot of um uh black people from back in the day we used to really idolize uh kung fu movies so they incorporating the kung fu movies into the hip-hop genre was really that was a genius move and I think when they first they, when they did their first their very first show, they uh, they actually showed up to the to the show with all masks on. You didn't know who they were, and they took a picture and they put that on the front of the, their album cover into the Thirty Six Chambers. That was their first album. So their their second album, to, to um, collectively, was the uh, uh, Wu Tang Forever album. Now they had other albums in between, but this album to me was special because it came out after they all uh, was a little bit successful off their solo projects. And Wu Tang Clan, I mean, undoubtedly they put out a lot of classic albums. Um, in you know, in their in their room, they put out a lot of classic albums, and they brought a lot of awareness to a lot of things. I think that they were. You know, it, it, were, it was other artists before them, but they were the, really the ones that really brought that God body and a five percenter to the forefront um, um, into hip hop, really into hip hop. Did you have some the other some of them, but a lot of them brought that to it. You know, so uh, the members of Wu Tang Clan, RZA, Jizza, Inspector Deck, Old Dirty Bastard, Method Man, Raekwon the Chef, Ghostface Killer. Uh, Master Killer, uh, who else? Uh, you God, uh, Capadonna. I guess that's the nine Gambinos, I think. If I'm missing one, please let me know in the comments. Um, so, Wu Tang Forever. This album was, uh, hip hop. I would say it's in my top 20 hip-hop albums ever created I would say that top 20 um and there's a lot of hip-hop albums so before y'all go crazy like just remember there's over a million hip-hop albums so this album to me was one of those albums that I think that it changed my life like it really made me look at music different because those guys, I could relate to a lot of what they were doing at that time, you know, because I wanted to be, I wanted to be Wu-Tang Clan back then. Like, we all wanted to be Wu-Tang, you know, Wu-Tang Clan, uh, uh, the, the RZA, I don't know if I forgot him, sorry, but the Abbott, you know, the RZA, everybody wanted to be the RZA, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to make beats like, like the RZA and, you know, shout out to Supreme Mathematics and, and, uh, a bunch of them other ones that did the beats with them wanted to be that and then you had like they just had too many elements that were great at that time you know I mean granted later on I think they kind of like they fell off as a group but you know solo solo artists still went on like uh, like uh, uh, Ghostface Killer and, and Raekwon you know Met The Man went on to do his own thing I think that that for this album was special because they all came back together. It's like Voltron, like they say, you know, like Voltron coming back together. And it was like, how would I would to say this. It was like, it was a miracle to me. Like, 
because they were one of them groups that really never broke up at that time you know they never broke up so when I heard this album the first single I heard was uh was reunited actually and reunited was had the, the violin strings in there and it's like you never heard nothing like this it was like they went from one classic to a super classic and it was like whoa these dudes is really doing it out here and they inspired a lot of people so you know the reunited that was the first i think that was the i think that was the first cd i'm not sorry sorry if i can't i think that was the first cd reunited was the first cd it was the first cd and a couple other songs after that and then the second cd Triumph. Triumph may be the greatest, the greatest posse cut ever created. There's nothing better than Triumph. Nothing. Not scenario. Not, not, nothing. Not uh, uh, anything. Was not uh, the self destruction. None of them. This is the greatest posse cut ever, and it's from a group. You know, so I mean, can you really call it a posse cut? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, because they were all solo artists, but they were still a group. But still, it's just that and that beat. It's like that's perfection. That's perfection. And they didn't have to have super great verses. You just had to have a good verse in the beginning and a good verse at the end. That's it. You finish strong, you finish, you, you open up up atomically. Socrates philosophies and I, like, come on, man. It's like, so this album to me, you know, um, these albums that I'm gonna review that are classic, they go beyond classic level. And it's because of the time period and it's because of it just being a classic album. So it goes beyond that. So, you know, uh, how do I say this? I mean, I mean, and I could go through all the, the members: ODB, like Spectre Deck. I could go through all of them. They all had something to give on this album, and it fitted very well. You know, it fitted. It just fit. They 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 made it fit. Every party played a part. You know, played a part. Everybody. City to to uh to I don't even want to pull out the list. It's no like, but Wu Tang Forever album man, it's something that really hits my heart every time I listen to it. And I think about it because it reminds me, it brings me back to my childhood, and it's just the production, the production and the and the the way they construct the songs. You can't throw your life away, drink your life away, smoke your life away, ain't your life away, because your seeds have grew up the same way. And it's like, they just played it well, man. So I can't really, something I can say. I mean, of course this album's a 10, you know, and I think that uh, it's one of those albums that go beyond that classic level, you know. Um, it's on that level, you know, it's, it's up there. Top, t it's in the top 20, and that 20 is something that I think that a lot of people got to understand. That's a big deal to be in the top 20. It's a big deal. So, but Wu Tang Feather, go check it out. Go listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Listen to it all. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell me what you think about the Wu Tang Forever album. Did you listen to it? You know, comment. You know, talk amongst each other. Tell me what your favorite track is out of that whole album. You know what I'm saying? That's what you talk.